Hi, I'm Pete with Deck Tectile. We're out here today in Minneapolis to show you how to build a sister joist system elevated deck. And we're out here with James with Vax the Design. He's a Deck Tech Pro, and we're out here with Nick with uh, Avai Construction. They're both Deck Tech Pros. And we're going to go all on up and we're going to show you how to put sister joists on the uh, deck, and when we're going to put some trims around it, and then we're going to set some tile. Let's walk on up. All right, so we're up here on the deck, and you can see that uh, he's already installed some of the sisters. It's a two by four sister joist on the side of a two by 10. And he cut spacers from the end of his two by fours and uh, use those you can use any kind of space that you want you can even you can even uh, use a full three-quarter inch uh, spacer if you want you just have to have a longer nail or screw and um, anyway he's got the blocking you can see the blocking that's very important that this blocking get put in because this new treated lumber tends to twist when it's drying out and he's got it spaced about four feet apart and uh, now let's just watch him put in a, a couple of sister joists and some blocking. That was the last two pieces of blocking that he put in there. You can see he's got the blocking in. Um, the maximum distance we recommend that you have the blocking is four feet apart. You can put it closer if you want, but don't put it any further than four feet because we need that uh, to keep it from twist the joist from twisting. Now he's going to put on uh, the last few remaining sister joists here. Uh, you'll see that he's using a spacer approximately a quarter inch, maybe three eighths. And you can use uh, anything from a quarter to three quarter, whatever you want. Uh, with the three quarter inch spacer, you just have to have longer fasteners, longer nails, or screws, or, or whatever you're using. So James has these pre cut, so they'll go in tight, um, which looks better from the bottom. If you're not worried about the look from the bottom, you can even make them an inch or two short of the of the blocking, but it just looks better when you have them nice and tight like he's doing. Sticking the sticking the shim in and then uh, nailing it off, and you got to have the shims every oh probably foot and a half roughly apart. It's quite important to make sure, like he's doing. James is doing, he's making sure that his sister joist is flush with his main joist. You don't want it below or above, then it's going to make your uh, tile cock. When you get to the house and you're putting your sister joist in, you run into your uh, joist hanger, your metal joist hangers. So you have to cut your uh, sister joist maybe a quarter inch short of your plate so that it doesn't run into the steel uh, joist hanger. So as you can see here at the end of my 2x4, he put in the two nails right where the shims were and then he put a couple in the middle and that's, uh, that's a, a good idea. You want to make sure that your 2x is plenty, uh, has plenty of nails so you're holding up the weight of your tile and, and your decking and, and, and live load on. Okay, so you can see here how uh, he handled this edge. He's got to put this piece of Azac in there. He's, you can use any brand of composite you want, but he's, he's using Azac here. And the tile is coming up to here, and there'll have to be a cut piece of tile here. So he added in these short pieces of uh, two by four. Since it's only spanning four feet, that's enough uh, to hold the weight. So anyway, he just put in the little four, the little four, four foot pieces here, as you can see underneath there. And now he's putting in the trim and he's going to screw that in. 
and then later our tire will come up to here and we'll cut that piece there and that's how one way of handling an edge All right, let's go to putting down some tiles. So first he cuts the tile and then he takes it and holds it at a 45 degree angle to a saw and relieves that sharp edge so that it uh, looks better on the deck once you set it. So we're up here uh, putting tile on the deck now and as you can see he's already cut his first row. He's cutting those first and then we're gonna, then we're gonna set them this way. And what, what's going on right now, we're just loose laying these. These aren't tile aren't set yet. We're just loose laying them here on the deck just so we have them up where we want them and so we can pick colors we want to make sure that we get the colors mixed properly so there's not a bunch of dark ones in one spot and light ones in the other. We want them to be all mixed up. All right, so James here. Right here we're going to have to cut a 45 degree angle in our tiles. And if you were to set this tile 45 here bearing there this would definitely break so you must put uh, an angle reinforcement just like that in there to hold up that 45 cut edge so now that we're up here you can see that we carried most of the tile up here and we just laid them dry they're just sitting on the deck and uh, James and Nick cut this whole line here already. They're sitting upside down right now so the water can dry out on the bottom so we can glue them down. You usually want to let the water dry off on the bottom of your cut ones so that uh, you don't lose bond. But now he's going to start over here in the corner and he's going to start gluing down the tiles and he'll glue this whole line of cut ones. Once you have set deck tech tiles, do not walk on them for 24 hours. If you walk on them, they could shift and cause rocking later on. When I set my deck, I noticed it took uh, one tube per seven tiles, roughly, seven to eight tiles. Now he's setting them in place. I'll do a little adjusting for whatever, wherever it needs to go. And then just leave it alone until it dries for 24 hours. And of course, you want to put the cut edge out to the outside. You don't want to put the cut edge on, on the factory edge. Because you want all the factory edges going together because it looks better that way. He's gluing on his little, little itty bitty piece there that goes in the corner. Put a nice at least quarter inch high bead on it when you're setting it. The bottom of the tiles can be a little coarse and rough and uh, you just gotta have enough to uh, infill the roughness. If you're not gonna get your deck all set in one day and you're gonna leave a row of tile setting after you put the glue on, Take a long straight edge, like a six foot level or something else straight. After you get it glued in place, then take it like this and go like that to level it out so the line's nice and straight. But that way you end up with a straight line because once the glue dries, you're never moving that tile. So uh, as far as the construction adhesive goes, uh, we recommend uh, Liquid Nails Polyurethane. That's the name. It has a black and gold label. Uh, it had the reason we recommend that. It's a polyurethane like other glues, but it has a really high temperature variance from 20 below to 300 above, 
and uh, of course darker decks can get hot and we want it to last as long as possible. Thanks for joining us today. We're out here with Avad Construction and with Bax the Design and uh, they're putting on a beautiful oak colored deck and we put it on the standard uh, sister joist system and we just want to uh, say thank you to both of them for being our deck tech pros and for letting us come and film on site. If you have any questions about our installation then feel free to give us a call or email us. Thank you.